Hi and welcome. In my previous tutorial, we were discussing on model view controller architecture. In this example, we will run through step by step ways as how to do model view controller with a dynamic web application. Just before we could start anything on Java part, I just want to show something on the database. So I would connect to MySQL, that's what the database I'm going to use. I would connect to MySQL and let me key in the password. I use the database which I have it called as NAVDB. I'll say show tables which will show me all the tables which are there in the database called as NAVDB and I have a table called as user. So let me describe user which has got three fields which is user ID which is an auto increment, username and password. Let me select all the values which are there in the user. So I've got some username and password. So I want to write a program which will help me to validate the user ID and password or username and password for authentication. So let's get started. So I assume that you're using Eclipse and I'm going to start with a dynamic web project. I'm going to name this as uh, MBC architecture example. I use a runtime and runtime which I am using is Apache Tomcat 7.0 and I have kept it inside Naveen. They should find a folder called as training software Apache Tomcat 7.0.55 update. Let me say OK, finish next next generate web.xml i might need it and uh, click on finish it creates a project for me it creates a dummy project as of now so in my project my uh, project architecture or the look it looks very similar to this now in my source i'm gonna create few folders packages which will help me to make my files aligned properly I'm going to have a package called as com.naveen.connection. So that's the first package. I think I made some mistake. Let me refactor it. So I would say connection. Perfect. I'm going to create a class in this. My class name is called as get connection. So here I would have in this package, ideally we'll have only one class which will help me to get the connection all my connection related variables we're going to declare it here i'm going to say um, private static connection i'm going to take this connection from java.sql i call it as connection and all my variables which are required for processing from dao to your database I'll put it here prepared statement ps or if you want couple of more I call it as ps1 ps2 and so on and I also have a result set which is required when I want to get the data I'll say rs or rs1 and so on all the variables which are pertaining to the connection you put it here let me try having a method which will give me a connection whenever it is required. I'll say public static connection which is going to give me a connection of type java.sql get mysql connection. Perfect. Now I'm going to load the class dot for name which is for the mysql. I would write call mysql dot jdbc dot driver. So this I try remembering over a period of time. If you want to know the driver which you are using it, something like Oracle or Postgre, DB Derby and so on, you can Google it. Now I want to have a connection object which is taken from driver manager dot get connection. I want the third overloaded method which takes the URL, the username and password. So I'm going to connect from JDBC to MySQL 
which is there in the local host preferably I like to write 127.0.0.1 forward slash navtv that's what my database is I'm gonna use the username called as root and password I have here as consume so I'm gonna surround this block with a try catch the class dot for name will throw class not found exception connection will throw a scale exception once if everything is done I'm gonna return con and if something goes wrong let me say null perfect so i have the class not found exception or sql exception now that's my first file in my discussion post that i can start writing with the dao i have a package called as com.win.dao which is basically called as data access objects i'm gonna have a class i call it as user bl or you can even call it as user dao now in user dao we're gonna have a method which returns boolean value which will validate user which i gonna take with two parameters one is string username string password so i'll have a string statement called as sql which will help me to write a query select star from user where you name that's what you got to look in here you name and pass you name is equal to question mark since i'll be using prepared statement and pass is equal to question mark now i say get connection i would use some instance variable like gc is equal to new get connection gc dot ps is equal to get connection dot get my sql connection dot prepared statement of the sql statement which we have it so i would say sql perfect now i'll say gc dot ps dot set string because i have a question mark do remember here the index numbering will start from one and the first parameter is you name and gc dot ps dot set string of second is pass now i want to send this query and get the result set gc.rs which will hold the result set is equal to gc.ps.execute query if gc.rs.next which returns a boolean value then i want to return true or i can return this value directly so all this code which i have got i'll surround it with try catch block so if something something goes wrong just to keep my compiler happy i would say return false all your methods pertaining to user dao preferably go in this class okay now i have the next package coming in which is our controller so in my controller which happens to be servlet in our case I'm gonna have a package called as com.navi.controller and I would call the class name is login user or I would say validate user and I can give some URL mapping I would say validate dot do next you can choose the kind of method you want I preferably go with both then whenever the request comes from do get the only thing which i do is i call do post for request and response now my do post method will take the request and call the user dao so i assume that there is a html file which will take some parameters i would say string u name is equal to request dot get parameter of u name which we have not written as of now we're gonna write very soon string pass is equal to request request dot get parameter of pass now i would check if new user dao new user dao dot validate user 
with the username and password if it returns true i want to send it to success page okay else i would pass it to something like failure page now in order to send it to success page i would use request dot get request dispatcher to some page i gonna say forward with the request and response objects which we have it now i would say this as success dot jsp and the same thing i gonna do it for failure so in my case i will be creating two more files in web content folder the first file is called as success dot jsp so here i'll have jsp file and let me call this as success dot jsp and the next page is called as failure dot jsp in web content i will try using a jsp and i call this as failure dot jsp we got two files here now in my success dot jsp i would say something like welcome user okay maybe if you want to display some username i'm not using jstl tags i only use a expression i would say request dot get parameter of uname which i have i would have got in the validate user in failure user i would say sorry invalid credentials now the final file which i'm trying to have is a login form page i'll say login form dot jsp that's my new file so here i'll construct this insert the form tag let me make this little neat with giving some border i'm not using any css for the heck of this example i'll say tr i'll have some td tags and i'm gonna copy this i'll have multiple it might show you a few red color underlines absolutely no problem so i'll have end user asking for enter user name enter password okay i would say input type is equal to text name is equal to uname the same name which we have used in login validate I would say input type is equal to password name is equal to pass okay now I would also have a submit button and reset button input type is equal to submit and I'll also have input type is reset to clear my form now in my validate user i have got web servlet called as validate do i would take this in your form i will say action is validate do by default it is get method you got to change it to post one last thing for our application now i am using a connector which is of type 4 i have copied this mysql connector you can check in the internet you just have to copy this and put it in the lib and things are all done so you have the first file which is a login file the control goes to web.xml or your servlet controller container the container will look for something called as validate2 it will go to validate2 validate2 will do the job it will call the DAO the DAO does it will either give you a true or false depending on the user exists or not and depending on the value which is called the file is delivered either to success or failure let me try executing it i'll have a login form i click on play click on finish it starts the server okay i think i have made some small mistakes got some td tags yes let me refresh it it looks good okay i give some invalid details invalid invalid i'll say submit oh, it says sorry invalid credentials let me look for the right one 
in my database I've got Naveen and Kumar is one of the record I'll say Naveen Kumar submit hey welcome user thanks for watching this video